So the question is, what remains in a contract? So if you're a seller or buyer, in the Tennessee contract, there's a pre-printed part on the very first page that says the following items remain with the house. So TV brackets. So we went through a stage when all that was new, or everybody's putting their TV you know, on the walls now, and people would take the brackets off with the TV and not fix the holes. So Tennessee changed it and just said, you have to leave your bracket. So now you don't have to worry about fixing the holes, but you can take the TV. So all built-in appliances does not mean the refrigerator. And there's some instances, you know, where you have like the slide-in stove. We had an agent actually that went to house. She didn't write in specifically that the stove remained and it actually was not attached. So they took it with them. So if there's any question, just write it in either way, if you're the seller or the buyer. It also states that all the window treatments remain. That means the blinds, the shutters, the curtains, the rods, all those things. If you want an exclusion, you need to write in an exclusion if you're a seller on some of the rooms that you may want to take with you. So those are just a few of the things that stay with the house, and you need to talk about that at contract. We also remind the sellers, you know, during the contract period as they're packing up to move and on closing day to make sure that's with them so there's no issues with that. So if you want the pre-printed part, if you want to see what that looks like or the exact wording on that, just let me know. I'm happy to send it your way.